This story simply gut wrenching. A six year old girl watches her mother being murdered. And tonight she's talking about it exclusively with our Grace White. Grace, what did she have to say? She remembers the day clearly. Now living in Georgia, she sat down to walk us through the details, hoping it will help solve her mother's case. A beautiful woman, a mother murdered. Who would want Peggy Howard? dead and the six-year-old girl who saw the whole thing the one thing i remember the most is her hair her daughter Alyssa, who 20 years later is talking about what she saw in 1998 for the first time i remember we were locking up and my mom was about to take me to school the sun had just come up on an october morning Six-year-old Alyssa and her mom walking hand in hand in the parking lot of their condo in West Houston. About the time we got closer to the car, I saw him pulling out a gun out of his pocket. Peggy shot twice, collapsed on the ground. Alyssa hid under their car. What do you remember about his face? He was young. He had um, brownish hair. Police drew this sketch. The killer thought to be only 12 to 15 years old. Do you wonder who it could be? I do. And I want to know why, you know, was it jealousy? Was it just spite? Like, were you paid? You know, it's a gated complex, so the killer would have had to find another way in. But police believe it was all planned out, even a getaway car waiting for him to escape. This is a gate where the suspect entered. Cold case detective Paul Vela is retracing the killer's steps. So right through here. Right through here. As he walked in, he walked straight to the open garage parking. Original crime scene photos show Peggy's car parked outside the apartment and the bag she was carrying never made it to the trash. When Peggy walks out, he steps out, fires one time, Peggy falls right here. He moves over, fires a second round. Was this a hit? I'm not going to say it's a hit, but it was not random. And it wasn't the first time someone tried to kill Peggy. Police charged her husband in Florida, Brian Howard, with attempted murder. But he was in jail at the time of Peggy's death. So if he didn't do it, who did? Peggy was in a relationship right before she um, came over. And actually, the reason she moved to Houston was she met someone. And this one person that she met persuaded her to move to Houston. But that relationship isn't the only one. As police poured through Peggy's personal life, they discovered she always had a man by her side, widening the list of possible suspects. Now living in Georgia, Alyssa's pieced it together. This is from my mom. As best she could with old papers. Um, I just got it, actually. Her mom's death certificate. This was... Your mom's resume? Yeah. She had a life just like everybody else. She had kids, a kid. I was an only child, but you know, once you have a child, you live for that child. A life lesson Alyssa's now learning with her own kids. Where are you gonna go? She may only have had her mom with her for a short time. The purple is amethyst, which is my mom's birthstone. But she's still in her little girl's heart. I want to be everything that she was and more. Police are hoping to hear from anyone who knew Peggy. If you can help solve the case, call Crime Stoppers. Lena Mia, Alyssa told us one day she hopes to write everything down she remembers in a book. Tomorrow would have been her mother's 45th birthday. 45th birthday. I know it couldn't have been easy for her to have to talk about this and everything, but hopefully it'll be that difference, that game changer in solving this. She is a brave young woman. Yeah. She sure is. Again, trying to find the missing pieces. All right, Grace, thank you so much.